terminologies of IC engines. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the various terminologies of IC engines. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, sir. What are you doing? Sir, I am watching the working of the IC engine of a tractor. It is interesting and also easy to understand. Okay. So, can you tell me, what is the name of the part which keeps moving up and down? It is called as piston, sir. Good. So, now tell me what is this? It is, uh, it is the diameter of the cylinder and it is called as... Uh... Bore. Ah, yes, yes, bore. Okay, leave it. Can you explain its working? Yes, sir. At first, the piston moves from the upper, uh, upper... It is top dead center or TDC. Ah, yes, sir. From top dead center to the lower, lower. Bottom dead center or BDC. Yes, sir. Bottom dead center and it is called as... Hmm. Stroke. Y yes, sir. Okay. Answer this question. What is clearance volume? Clearance volume... Hmm. Uh, it is the distance covered by the piston from the top dead center to the bottom dead center, sir. It is not clearance volume. It is swept volume. Were you really watching the working video, Sam? Yes, sir. I know the working of this engine really well, sir. Hmm. I do know that. But you don't know how to describe it in words. Yes, sir. You are right. I do have a problem with that. Then you should concentrate on the terminologies used here. Sam, learning is of no use if you don't know the terminologies. Knowing the terminologies will help you to solve problems in your lesson. And also to do well in the Viva verse at the end of your term or in an interview. Not only that, this knowledge is critical as you need to know the terminologies to convey your ideas to your friends at your college and workplace. Oh, okay, sir. I did not realize that terminologies were that important. Will you please teach me, sir? Yes, no problem. I'll explain to you the terminologies of the ISA engine. Thank you, sir. This is the engine block which provides the foundation for all the engine components. The inside diameter of the cylinder is called bore. It is measured in millimeters. The topmost position of the piston towards the cover inside of the cylinder is called top dead center or TDC. In horizontal engines, this is known as inner dead center. The lowest position of the piston towards the crank inside of the cylinder is called bottom dead center or BDC. In horizontal engines, this is known as outer dead center. The linear distance along the cylinder axis between top dead center and bottom dead center is called a stroke. An engine with equal bow diameter and stroke length is called a square engine. If stroke length is twice the size of the bow diameter, then the engine is called an undersquare engine. If the bow diameter is twice the size than the stroke length, then the engine is called an oversquare engine. Clearance volume. When the piston is at top dead center, the volume contained in the cylinder above the top of the piston is called as clearance volume. But sir, why can't we move the piston up to the extreme top? That is a good question. Zero clearance volume is not recommended because if it doesn't have a clearance volume, it is difficult for the flame to expand. Hence, the flame needs a minimum space for the expansion. The volume swept through by the piston between top dead center and bottom dead center is called swept volume. It is also called as piston displacement. Total volume is equal to the sum of swept volume and clearance volume. The rate at which the piston moves inside the cylinder is known as piston speed. This rate is not constant. Piston speed is equal to 2 into length of the stroke and speed of the engine. That is 2 into L into N. Engine speed is nothing but the crankshaft speed. The terminologies you have just learned are based on the working features of the IC engine. Now, I will explain to you the terminologies based on the performance parameters. We will start with compression ratio. It is the ratio of the total cylinder volume to clearance volume. 
The compression ratio varies from 5 is to 1 to 11 is to 1 in SI engines and from 12 is to 1 to 24 is to 1 in CI engines. The rate at which the engine can do work is measured in horsepower, that is HP. 1 HP is equivalent to 4500 kilograms meter per minute and in terms of watts it is 746 watts. The power that is actually developed in the engine cylinder is called indicated horsepower. It is given by IHP is equal to PLANK divided by 4500 into 2, where P is the average pressure produced in the combustion chamber, which is called as indicated mean effective pressure. L is the stroke length, A is the area of cylinder. N is the speed at the crankshaft and K is the number of cylinders in the engine. In India, most of the tractor engines are designed with two to four cylinders. The indicated power produced in the cylinder of the engine cannot be achieved completely by the crankshaft. There will be some losses due to friction. So, the crankshaft never receives the whole power generated in the engine cylinder. The horsepower available in the crankshaft is known as brake horsepower. BHP is equal to 2 pi nt divided by 4500 into 2 in terms of kilogram meter per minute, where n is the speed at the crankshaft and t is the torque, which is the force that causes the rotational motion. Now, I will explain to you some of the additional work that can be done using this horsepower. In most of the modern tractors, a rotating shaft is coupled at the back in order to drive other machines like hay baler, generators, hydraulic pumps, etc. This is called as power takeoff or PTO. The PTO horsepower is around 80 to 85 percentage of tractor engine power. Soil preparation is necessary for crop cultivation and it is usually carried out by using a tillage machine. Usually, this machine is attached with a tractor using a draw bar pin which is pulled from the center of the tractor. This power of a tractor measured at the end of the draw bar is called as draw bar power. This power is also used to pull loads. I hope you have understood the working of an IC engine, Sam. Yes, sir. Now I understand the working of the IC engine better. Good. Summary. In this lesson, you have learnt about the terminologies based on constructional and working features of IC engines. The terminologies based on performance parameters of IC engines. 